Hi everyone, it's super cold outside, so I'm down here in the studio and I'm getting ready to do a little tutorial in Cubase. I'm going to teach you about copying MIDI events, but whether you're doing a shared copy or an unshared copy, it's a little thing, but if you know about it, it can save you a whole hell of a lot of time. So let's jump into Cubase and check it out. All right, so we're here in Cubase, and let me just record something real quick. That should work pretty good. Is this a little original composition of mine called the Imperial March? <laughs> just kidding. Uh, so let's hear what we got. That'll work. It's not quite in time, but whatever. All right, so we got this. Now, let's say you want to copy this. I mean, you could always just copy the event, move to the end with copy the event with like edit copy or control C, uh, move to the next bar, and then hit control V or do edit, you know, paste. And that's fine, that's totally fine. But the faster way to do it is to hold your Alt key, or I think Option if you're on a Mac, and move it over, and bada bing bada boom, we have uh, the same thing over and over again. Now if I make changes to this, like if we make, uh, we copy this to the ending here, If we copy that there, you notice these two parts are still different. Now, if we want to make uh, make it so that any changes we make to any of the events get shared, we just hold the Alt key and the Shift key on our keyboard. We move it over. And boom, and when you see these two little bars right here, that means that the sections are shared. So uh, if I want to make this up here. As you notice, it changes in both parts. So if we undo that. Uh, you see that the changes are made to both parts simultaneously, which is great, but let's say you don't want that. You just want a regular old copy. You can, uh, you know, copy the part and repaste it in at that point. So the question is, what do you want? Do you want complete independent control? We'll just hit Alt and move it over to copy it. Um, but if you want it to be so that any change you make to this event is reflected in all the others, you hit Alt, Shift, and you move it, and that, that's true if you move it down to a new MIDI track as well. As you can see, uh, these bars are here, so if I were to change all of these, you'll see that it changed here. And that is as simple as that. It's uh, the issue of whether you have a shared MIDI track, a shared copy, or an unshared copy. And it's as simple as using Alt, click Alt drag to get an unshared copy, or click Alt shift drag to get a shared copy. Uh, and that's the only thing I wanted to show you all. I'm going to just go upstairs and bundle up and try to beat this cold weather. But I hope you found this useful. If you have, feel free to like or subscribe. And hey, take care of yourselves, everyone. Peace.